Yeah, how you came to be, cause no longer a mystery. Black sheep is your birthright, it's cold for the one who brings the light. I bet if there's a crack, you don't fall back, remember who you are. No rest for the wicked with their skull degree. The you spell work as projection to send out envy, hate, and jealousy. You are the prototype, your ancestors champion. They shield you and send back those spiritual attacks. You are divinely protected from the dummy bats. Yeah. Big Cat, the most high, got your back. He sits high and looks low, so don't get smoked to smoke yourself. Big Cat, move in silence. Only time you speak is to say check me. Darling, yes. This is represented by the hangman in tarot. Mm -hmm. Represented by the number 21, as well as the number 12. And the, the letter what? L, darling, dears. It speaks about the unknown. It also speaks about seeing things from a different perspective or people are seeing your skills from a distance, a long distance. You know that distance you decided had to be a long spoon, at least 60 feet? Yeah. They're seeing you what? Be re-energized, darling, dears. They see you as being highly intuitive. These people wanted you what? Stuck, darling, dear. Con in some form of confinement, whether it was prison or confined to the coffin, darling, dear. Confined to the coffin. So they could come to your funeral and sing an amazing grace in a baritone with no tears on their face, blood, bra, or cistrine. Mm. Mm. The hangman is what? Water as well as Neptune energy, darling, dears. It speaks about, um, you prophesized this in your life, darling, dears. Mm -hmm. You said things along the lines like, I may be poor and fill in the next blank. But dear God, I'm still here. Yes, baby, you came through like Sealy. Posh clap. You weren't having it, mate. Mm -hmm. You relied on your intuition, darling. Dear, some of you are recovering from some form of hospital stay, some kind of ailment. It could also have been a visit to the GP. Gone the natural way. Found a different way to what heal thyself. You're feeling more healthier, listening to your intuition, your discernment. However... The past would like to what? Grab you back to hell in a handbasket, darling dears. Peppered with what? Brimstone. Mm -hmm. The hangman also speaks about violent emotions. Somebody's directing a lot of violent emotions towards you. Why? Because you're enlightened. Why? Because you said Easter Island and Stevie Wonder, which is two of these and one of those. Yes, bestie. This is why I've taken it upon myself to be here with you today to investigate point A and point B. Yes, it's tatty because we've got to use it often when we are talking about the simpletons, the feeble minded that like to be what? A crisis in your life. And when they're gone, if you can get them out, because I'm telling you, they're like a tick. Mm -hmm. They like to burrow in, darling dears. Mm -hmm. And when they're gone. Your life takes a whole change. You've got to get through all of the emotions. Not only that, once they've left your life, everybody that comes towards you seems to have some point A and point B. What's that? A red flag, darling, dears. But let's face it, big cat. People in your life are going to make you suffer, but you've got to see which ones are worth suffering for. And I don't mean putting you on the rocks of life. I'm talking about people that push you to grow, evolve, and change, darling dears. That's the kind of suffering you want. Mm -hmm. Not those, they, them, and arm, that want to be what? Creating havoc in your life. The H is for harlot, a.k.a. Jezebel's spirit. Or a harem of feeble-minded tree sloth. Yeah, the soul tie of it all. The A is because they're advocates of the gingivitis. They're effing skin-peeling liar. Mm -hmm. The V is because they're a victim. They will shape shift into the victim to blame you for everything they did. The O is because they're they're, they're bloody obnoxious. Yeah, obnoxious. Mm -hmm. And the C, the C is because they will get their echo praxic on. They're a copycat, darling dears. They was what harvesting your energies and trying to what begin their life with your. How can you begin with someone else's energies, blood? Especially when the power grid's gone. Listen, we're talking about the feeble-minded today, darling dears. We are, as we see, the hangman, lagaz. Mm -hmm. You are in the flow of life, darling dears. This speaks about, as I said, spiritual evolution. The planetary energies are telling us this, darling dears. It's important for you to what? Be focusing on yourself in order to make your future better. 
They wanted you to be bitter and worried about them. Or si worst of all, sitting down waiting on them like you're a figurine. You better break out that paradigm. Go to them. Slip in front of the mirror, darling dears. If this is you, right, waiting for someone to come back that effed you up before. They will only do it worse. Why? Because they'll think that you are full on stupid. And they know that no matter what they do, you're going to take them back into your life. Mm-mm. It, taking them back into your life is trying to what? Restuff poop back into your into your posterior after it's come out. Who's doing that? Ain't nobody got times for that. Mm -hmm. All right, let's press on, darling dears. Let's see what the dice are saying about this before we get into the the bones of it all. Okay, we've got the one, darling dear. The what? The one is highlighted on the red. So this is an important. It's about what? Evaluate the situation, darling dear. Question everything. You have to realize the one indicates deceptive forces at work, trying to undermine your your security, darling dear. One is about your potential, your individuality, darling dear. The number one in numerology is ruled by the sun as well as Uranus energy. You are into self. Be involved with yourself. This is about you having taken a leadership role in your life. The Uranus energy is because you're a rebel, blood. You're a big cat. Khaleesi or Carl. And he or she who holds the whip runs things. I've said this many, many times, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Love it. All right. You've also got a six, darling dears. The six is telling you what? Cooperation. So they want you to cooperate with them. Have they got what? Mind control devices. Have they got what? Hypnotizing devices. Have they got what? A time machine to the day when you was green, darling dear. Didn't understand the wickedness. They could what? Perpetrate in your hemisphere. Mm -hmm. So they want you to cooperate, darling dear. Work with them, right? They're looking for love. And it could be because they, they've got to, they themselves, because we saw the hangman, maybe needing hospital visits, darling dear. They need to be at a medical center. Mm -hmm. Around a lot of serious people wearing, wearing a doctor's coat. This is about you, what? Looking after your own health, right? Continue to find time for yourself. Some of you um, need the therapy of water, darling dears. Get to a body of water or have a bath. But you wash yourself before you get in the bath. You make it into a spiritual bath. Friday will be a fabulous time to jettison into a spiritual, spiritual bath. Right? It will be Venus Friday, darling dears, where you beautify and lovelyfy yourself. And as a matter of fact, Venus is now direct in Leo. So Leo is about what? Taking a risk on you. Tapping into your creativities. Venus will what? Make it abundant. Knowing thy worth, darling dear. You know your worth. Mm -hmm. So the energy of the six, darling dear, in numerology is ruled by what? Venus energy. Mm -hmm. All right. Now we've got the four, darling dears. Lean in, bestie. It's about what? Communication. So you're going to be getting letters, emails, um, text message, maybe even a phone call, right? Mm -hmm. Someone, they've been putting off this, this phone call because they're not sure on how you're going to receive them. But you had to let go of them, darling dears. Embrace your what? Your shadow side. Mm -hmm. Look at all of your flaws so you can what rub out what attracted that bottom feeding wicked one into your life. Yes, baby. It's all about this and that. I, like I said, I've taken it upon myself as your best friend because I told you we're besties like kept Felman and Louise without the chelation. All right. What does your ancestors think about this talk? Because we've got to get advice from everyone. Right? <laughs> Let's see what your ancestors think about this talk. Look what's on the base of the deck. They're coming in hard with the eye of Saron. So they envy whatever evolution you've already perpetrated in your hemisphere. They envy it. Let's give it a good shifty and wake up the deck. All right. Let's see, darling dears. Let's see. What do your ancestors think about this little chat they want? Listen. They ain't changed and they're still a coward, darling dears. So they're what? They're, they're um, low-vibing, 
living in their ego, darling, is they haven't changed one thing. Matter of fact, they've evolved into whatever badness they was doing before. They're now what? A bit more wily with it. Why? Because you told them to air forth, right? And do a what? Double forward roll, a pooper lick, as we say in Jamaica, right? To get lost. Mm -hmm. You painted a big fat wet one on a stick and you threw it. You arched your back when you threw it, darling dears. You did. They ain't changed. The eye of jealousy is still there, darling dears. And I told you, they are blame shifting and me. They are soulless. Mm -hmm. May they find their efforts goalless. Goal. G-O-A-L-L-E-S-S. -S -S. When they come against you, darling dears. Goalless. Base of the deck. Listen. You can't put the blame on me, darling dear. You're telling them to what? Tie a yellow ribbon round that old oak tree. Yeah. And see if you come back. <laughs> You're not having it. Let's dive in, darling dears. Because this, this, this sounds like what? It sounds like buffoonery. But they want to talk, so let's listen. What do you want to say? If it falls on the floor, then it's coming through your door. Wow, this is a number of cards. Uh, we don't read these cards that I was guided to 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 um, put together. We in the reverse. We read them all in the upright. So we've got months, opportunity. It's a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Or you may be. This person is a sperm engineer or a tree sloth, darling dears. And quiet as it's kept, they've got algae in their fur. So they're slow moving, darling dears. I told you they was hesitant. It's been going on for months. They've been trying to what? Trying to what? Contact you, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Taking a secret to the grave. So they've been up to no good, darling dear, in their hood. Where's that? The mud hut, darling dear. Where all the wicked, wicked be. They see you as an opportunity or see the opportunities that you've co-created for yourself, right? They've got a criminal record. So they may even have a, you may even have a criminal record against them for giving you a two-piece. Yeah. Or if for misappropriating your funds. You've got all these issues going on with them, darling dear. It's taken them months to try and come back through. And they want to talk. But they still haven't said exactly what they're going to tell you. Right? Because they know that you're not having it, blood. You're not having it. You're not having, are you having it, big cat? Are you? These dull-eyed fools. Mm-hmm. Let's split the deck. It says a moon. Right? Cancer... The moon, feminine energy. So they're in their feminine energy, darling. There's the fourth house is about foundation. So they see you as a family person. We said months, darling, dear. The moon takes two and a half months, two and a half days to move through each sign, darling, dear. So they've been mulling it over for months. So for some of you, within the next two and a half days, you will have what? The time traveler turning up in your life like Beetlejuice. And they're in what? Spiritual court. Getting that kick in the spiritual nutsack. All right. Mm. I want to come and talk to you. Mm. Pedestrian sperm engineer. If that don't make you want to pay your knees, darling dears. What's this? Listen to your ancestors. The angels are whispering to you, darling dears. Loud that blood clatter re. Mm -hmm. What else underneath the angel whispers? Right? Yeah. They're going for an ego death. Yeah, it's not fabulous, mate. Where's that? The dark night of the soul had to look over my shoulder, whack. Because I'm the red light, green light champion of 79. I told you, bestie. And you are a red light, green light, right, red light, green light champion by proxy. They have an ego death. Mm -hmm. Right? And they, whomsoever were they with, they're, they're amongst the ops, darling dears. People that they're saying are not on the same page as them. Imagine that. Right? Watching you, right? Watching you love on you, darling dears. Them don't like it. They liked it when you looked like Quasimodo's bestie in them screeds. Them don't like it. Mm -mm. Right? You keep bossing up. This is what I'm saying. They underestimated your gangster. Mm -hmm. They really, really underestimated your gangster. Well, guess what? Proverbs 12, 24. Big Cat is what? A hustler, baby. A 
hustler in a good way, multiple streams of income and all that, excelling with the certificates, whether you're a keyboard gangster or you've gone into an organization, promotions, darling dears, you ain't the cat you was before, before you was be dragged, they treated you like you was a stray cat, pushed you around, right, but they can't easily do that, why? Because you created an opportunity for yourself when you let go of that energy and now they want to talk and you keep bossing up. You better put you better be serving them nostrils with your nose in the air. Serve them nostrils. Mm-hmm. Let's see what the green cards want to tell us. No, we're gonna stick with the blue just to finish out this first one line with the blue. So what about the water sign? Cancer Pisces Scorpio. It speaks about when we say water sign, we speak about relationships. It also speaks about healing, being fluid, darling. Is listen to your intuition, right? Listen, all they want is your psychological password. Water sign also speaks about emotions, darling. Is they want to work on your what emotions? Yeah, to get your psychological password and be a tampon string in your life. Mm -hmm. What about the months? What's been going on for months, right? They want, yeah, all along, they wanted you broke, in prison, barking at passing cars, or D-E-D. -D. Yeah, Dodo. Mm -hmm. They wanted you extinct. They wanted you rubbed off the face of the earth just for being you, big cat. Imagine that. The same ones that gave you misophonia, right, pisanthropia, and made you obstreperous. What's the matter with them? Don't they like what they created? They liked what they created when you was there as a thumber, yeah? Where they could park their, their big toe in your back crevice. Yeah, yeah, they loved it, right? What secret are they taking to the grave? Who the daddy? Oh, so they're not even sure about whom their true father is? Or they what? They're denying the fact that they denounced your child, darling dears. Maybe they told somebody that they didn't want your progeny. They didn't want the baby. You forced them to have this baby, right? Mm hmm I feel like I need to shuffle again for taking a secret to the grave, right? Yeah, that you are a virtuous woman or man, darling dears. Proverbs 31, 10, they'll, listen, you'll have to rip it out them, darling dear. Torture them on a rack, a stretching rack. You might as well stretch their body the way they've stretched the truth, darling dear. What's this opportunity? Mm. <laughs> listen. You had the opportunity to be what? A generational curse breaker, darling dears. Change the paradigm. You may have brothers, sisters, aunties, cousins, maybe even your mother or father that's gone through what? Negative cycles. Maybe had to call the police in certain situations. Life-threatening situations, darling dears. You have the opportunity to what? Be the righteous woman or man, darling dear. Be that person for yourself and you will attract the same level. Mm-hmm. For months, they wanted you. What? Broke, in prison, barking at passing cars, or D.E.D. If it falls on the floor, then it's coming through the door. Mm -hmm. The criminal record was the consequences of their actions, darling dears. And they're still blaming it on you. You punched your own eye and ripped off your clothes and did all sorts of nasty things to yourself. Yeah. And, yes, baby, they're getting a criminal record from what? Giving somebody an STD. Did you know it's classed as SA? You know how to work that out, darling dears. They got a criminal record. For being violent, right? Abusive. Not having, not having it blood. Bruh. Or cistrine. Let's see what the blue cards are telling us. What ain't you having? Or what ain't they having? Oh, you have two. Right? This uh, doesn't matter what they're having or not having it. Father God, Mother Isis said they ain't having it. The Most High, the Divine, has entered the building, right? Mm -hmm. You're not having it because you're a keyboard gangster. You was able to research their psychosis and pinpoint it down to what? Narcissist, psychopath, sociopath, mm -hmm. all of the above. And in some cases, you see demon attachment. Why? They've got no certificate from an exorcist. If they have it's fabricated, and that is a criminal offence, bombastic side eye. Mm -hmm. What's this about spiritual court? I don't want to talk to you, and your angels are whispering to you, big cat, not to pay attention, right? 
spiritual court for the rebound, darling dear. It's what? Chucky and his bride. So whomsoever they're with, darling dear, they're not happy there. They saw it as an opportunity, darling dears, and they won't tell you directly. They'll take that secret to the grave rather than tell you that they bucked up on someone that doesn't even compare to you. They want to come and touch the hem of your cloak, your robe, darling dear, your fabulousness, right? You are a generational curse breaker. You was put in that person's life to show them the way, to show them true love's first kiss as a helpmate. And what an equal, darling dear, not less than. You had to remove many, many people from your life in order to what? See your flaws and embrace your shadow self, darling dears, realizing that you too became toxic, toxic in those environments. Mm -hmm. So the rebound is like Chucky and his bride, yeah? And they're in spiritual court. They're on the docket, blood. All that karma creeping up on them like a cheap lace thong. This is why they want to come and talk to you. This water sign wants to get at your emotions, right? They want to come and tickle your psychological password. Didn't even see this card, right? You better give them what he's styling and Stevie Wonder. Stevie Wonder don't see nothing. Have you not seen the statues of East Island? That face is straight. Come through safari. Posh clap. No, man. Mm -mm. A lot going on here. This table is this table is very big, but I managed to fill up all the space. <laughs> yeah, outrageous, darling dears. Let's get the green cards and go one step further into their psychosis, right? Of yesteryear. So let's see this possession sperm engineer, right? Who you was divinely guided by your ancestral team, right? To leave them. It created an ego death because you didn't come back, blood, right? They was always your ops. You were sleeping with the enemy. And they're watching you, what? Love on yourself. This is why you are bossing up. You're winning, blood. You're like an Arabian racehorse. And they are what? An old, an old, a whole, old, an old horse for the knacker's yard. Yeah. They're about to be glue, darling, dears. Look, what's showing? A family member. Water sign was a family member. Right? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Or it could be you, darling dears. Mm -hmm. A family member, darling dears, that wanted to get your psychological password. They wanted you to be in your emotionals about the situation. It could have been a husband or wife, cousin, mother, whatever the paradigm is. This person or people wants to talk to you. But it's to what? Tickle your psychological password. Tell you this and that until they've got you at hockey stop, hockey sticks at dawn, so they can what stab you again, black? You've only just removed the knife from your bag, all right? You better make sure that your intuition is lit, lit, litty. They use divination, darling dears, to finally divine what's going on with your life. They wanted to know. They paid good Skrilla for that. Mm -hmm. when they should have used it for their what psychological evaluations this blown out run through ex person that wants to talk to you blood they want to talk to you up close me mm, up close listen go and watch my don't get smoked video where i teach you like kung fu and self-defense darling is up close listen if that don't make you bend and stretch and limber up your joints darling dears mm-hmm this family member had to hit the road just like Jack. Tell me something more about this family member. Look. Oh my gosh, the cards are all floating. It's a warning from the universe, darling dears. We've also got Earth sign energy. Earth sign Capricorn Taurus Virgo, but it speaks into your virtues of stability, nurturing unto thyself. You was extremely supportive to them, darling dears. You had a lot of fertile energies around them, but they didn't like it. Why? Because you're a big cat and you didn't realize your worth. Mm -hmm. This family member's just looking for a vacant orifice. Big cat, oi, bestie, red flag. Listen, red flag, red, 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 remix, wiki, 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 red flag. Darling dears, oh no, a vacant orifice so they can land all of their soul ties in you. Are they mad? Mm -mm. Right? What's this? Jealous sibling, what did I say? A family member. That was never your friend. Look! Jealous relative. Jealous sibling. Yeah. 
So you were sleeping with the enemy and you was eating and drinking with these enemies, darling dears. They had the effrontery to share the same womb. But if the womb was what? Negative, darling dears. The, 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 the poison was in there from the head of the snake. And looking for a vacant orifice. Baby, you better get onto that online Aladdin's Cave, Amazon, and get yourself some Gorilla Glue, mate. We'll work out the details some further down the line, right? You don't want to be with people after you've what? Embraced your shadow self, looked at your flaws, and you love everything about your whole complete being because you are complete and whole. On your own, darling dears, bad alone, come through Shen Sia. posh clap. This road you chose to walk, Big Cat, was not easy. But when Father God, Mother Isis have guided you this far, thus far, why would you want to listen to people that want to what? Kill your vibe, darling dears. Give them East Island and Stevie Wonder. You was already the keyboard psychologist, darling dears. And you broke generational curses. Proverbs 31.10. They wanted you broke in prison. Something about months, right? Yeah. They wanted all the trauma for you, darling dears. They wanted you to still be traumatized. So you'd be like, you'd be like putty in their what skull Douglas hands as they jettison back into your life from the pet cemetery. Right? Look, they're cold hearted. They don't know what love is, darling dears. It's all about ego. This is why they're having the what? The ego death. It's all about their ego. Mm -hmm. And look, the criminal record, right? One and done, right? And the repeat offender. Criminal offense. Mm -hmm. Hiya! Come through, Uncle Roger. Posh clap. As I clutch, clutch my hairline, darling dears. It's getting itchy. Remember, they wanted you to have the reverse fryer tuck for air. They're cold hearted, darling dears. Cold hearted. What's this? Again. Turn your back, your shapely back, law 16, and keep it pushing, blood. What fell on my lap? It's a karmic soulmate, and they're what? They're seek they've got secret addictions, and we already saw they're taking something to the grave. Good God, we don't even want to open that can of worms, why? We like peace and tranquility, so we can continue to what? That's right, big cat, sock it to him, Scott, eh? Sock it to him! By what? By being yourself. By building... A what? A bountiful life by being happy. Happiness is an inside job. You cannot get happy in a situation that tried to break you. Take that opportunity and wrap yourself around it like it's the Goodyear blimp, darling dears. Keep going. You are being protected and you are being guided. This is why Divine made sure that you weren't having it blood, whatever heinous crime they did, to get them to what? Get out. They must face these what? Consequences and repercussions? Consequences and repercussions? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Keyboard gangster. Yeah. Yeah, look. I can't make it up. Right under the Proverbs 31. God is telling you, showing you, you. God is giving you the green light, the approval of the work that you've done on your shadow self, on your flaws. You're seeing the dark sides of yourself as what a strength, darling, is. It gave you the fortitude to realize that you was the generational curse breaker. God is also reminding you that you mustn't listen to anything they say because they'll be talking out the crack of their, and it will be what? The whisperings of Hannibal Lecter. What else does Father God, Mother Isis want you to know? Right? Shade. Yeah, they come with the shade jar, darling dears. The shade of a critique, right? With that slick talk. Yeah, that forked tongue that's just finished crevicing the... That's finished, what? Licking the crevice of the devil's balls. Mm -hmm. Major side eye. Come through. What? Nurse John. Posh clap. Major side eye. They're coming in shady blood with that slick talk. Mm -hmm. They're trying to say that they are over the situation, what happened in the past, how you was in the past. See, like I said, 
They inadvertently blaming you for everything they went through. But the way they talk, they're trying to use what? Mind. Mind. Some kind of mind trick, darling. Yeah, some kind of hopium and cockalorum. Mm-hmm. What's this about the generational curse breaker? Yeah. They threw you away, darling dears. They threw you away when you were sent to help them, to show them the light of true love and being an equal in a friendship, partnership, romance, whatever the ship was, darling dears. That ship has now sailed. Mm -hmm. Sucker. Well, they still, they think you're a sucker, right? Because they possibly want you to come back and share in the consequences and repercussions that they've created for themselves. Criminal of records, blood. We saw that twice. They've got secret addictions, darling dears. This was a karmic soulmate. God is all up and in this read, darling dears, to show that this person was sent to wake you up and evolve. East Island, Steve Wanda. No one talked to them. I'd rather what? I'll tell you what you must do, darling dears. If you feel tempted to, 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 to even entertain any of their, their whisperings of Hannibal Lecter straight from the crevice of the devil's balls as they go through the controversy and the consequences and repercussions in their mud hut, I don't care if they live in a mansion. It's a mud hut. Why? They, they're in their blood. With their nasty ways. Their plotting ways. Mm-hmm. If you listen to them, you better listen to them and realize that this is bull swanky, darling dears. You're using it for what? Recon only, darling dear. So that you can cross off the I's and dot the T's on this what? Blown out or run through. That's going through tragedy and adverse situations, right? Mm -hmm. Watching you, darling dears. This person was always an op in your life. And you always came with grace. But now you know you carry the grace, darling dears. You carry the whole armor of God, Ephesians 6.13. You had to what? Fall back in faith into the arms of the Most High, Psalms 91.1. You've seen how small a mustard seed is. You had to have that faith in the Most High and in yourself. Leave this sucker where they are. Getting what the duck get duck got. And what did the duck get? Well, what rhymes with duck, right? They feel what? I didn't even see that. Haunted and hunted. Mm. What's this keyboard psychologist? Yeah. It was a rude awakening, darling dears. When you decided to go on Beyonce's internet. Yeah. And find out what was going on. Because you couldn't understand why you had so much bad luck around them. Because you was taking on their karma. They never told you the whole truth. That you wasn't the first person they did it to. And you wouldn't be the luck. Well. We have to remember Proverbs 6.18. Eight, I mean 18.6. A fool's mouth would always invite a beating darling dears. Listen. It was a rude awakening darling dears. Because you saw the pattern of the trauma bond. The behaviours that you was, you was overlooking. To be with this person. When you are unique, you are rare. Let me get some on the rude awakening. That's a lot of cards, blood. But it fell on, um, hunted and haunted, and they threw you away, right? And that, that's because great number of bad karma for them, right? When they was giving it to you without the Vaseline, they liked it just fine, darling dear. They was busy, right? Tied up, active, right? Employed. They had bigger fish to fry. They was unavailable to the crisis that they perpetrated in your hemisphere. We've also got Life Path 1. So if you're, you may be, or it may be them, right? If your birthday is the 1st, the 10th, the 19th or the 28th, this fell out in the upright Right? Life path number one, as we already discussed, darling dears, is ruled by the sun and Uranus energy. So this is Leo and Aquarius energy. It's a new beginning for you, darling dears. You are taking a more leadership role in your life. It, can, it speaks about your independence and look, the opportunity that's coming your way. Opportunities, I might add, right? Mm -hmm. Live in your life purpose. Continue to take charge in your life. You're an original, darling dears. You're an original. Amongst the feeble-minded. 
We've all gone through it, darling. Yes, we may not have taken the same path, but until you realize and love thyself, you will always, what? Bathe in their bad karma. They wanted you to feel hunted and haunted, and they liked it just fine. It was just right. Yeah, when your hairline was pitchy patchy, when you was trying to dis, trying to what? Either have that closing talk, right? Or trying to hang on, hang in there. But when you try and hang in there with these people, right? They, their behaviors attacks your hippocampus and your and your um amygdala. Yeah, your hippocampus is about your your memories, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Your your um um auto immune system, darling dear. Yes, it is. It's all about that. And your am am I can't even say it. Amygdala. It's a it's about your um your emotionals, darling dears. They attacked all of these things, and when they're attacked, it shrinks. Your hippocampus shrinks, and your amygdala, it swells up, darling dear. So this is why you was getting the cognitive dissonance, and many of you went back, maybe a hundred times, a hundred times. No, no, I know that it took me until the 11th, I said to him. When I allowed him back the 10th time, darling dear, I said to him, if you do this again, we done done, we finito. Right? Didn't believe me. I had to have the police escort him out the house. Because I had high and low blood pressure. I had um, the dyshydrotic eczema, right, in my palms, right? Certain body parts was always failing me, darling dears. My knees. I'd get mystery illnesses. And then when I go to the doctor, there's nothing wrong with me. I've had x-rays, blood taken from me. When all I had to do was tell him to fuck off. Go and manifest in someone else's life right they're worried about you they see you as a new woman or man darling dears or you have a new woman or man in your life someone who is going to put put you first put make no one make you not jealous of other people People are going to be jealous of the union the friendship the relationship that you have you heard my stomach it's the truth everything's a signal and a sign in these readings mm -hmm. So the Most High Father God, Mother Isis, said this is the time for you to not have it blood, bruh, or cistrine. Yeah, they was right. They were quite loud when they said to you, drop down and get your eagle on. Mm -hmm. Not having it. What's this? Look, we've got father and grandfather, darling dears. East Island, somebody didn't speak to their father or grandfather. This is somebody who was cold-hearted, darling dears emotionally unavailable or emotionally and physically unavailable this was a karmic partner to your mother darling dears and grandmother mm -hmm. what does the most high want to talk about not having right not having what the baby daddy or the baby mama drama darling dears yep yep they don't father god mother isis don't want you to be their nurse with a purse you must you must help them back to wellness while they suck you dry you want to look like Quasi's bestie in them streets? Do you remember the days when you was nervous on the eggshells? Oh, gosh. Right? And again, they're telling you to what? Go for your birth natal chart. The whole key of being here and breaking generational curses is to get to know you. Embrace your shadow side. Embrace your flaws. Embrace your embrace all of your talents and gifts, darling dears. All into one lovely, fuzzy, warm ball of self-love, darling dears. Get your birth natal chart. The most, I repeat, the most important document you'll ever have. Yes, it will look like Swahili written in Arabic backwards, darling dears. But... The deeper you go into the forest, the more interesting the trees. I've told you many times, darling dears, you can break it down into little bites. You can go on Pinterest and type in maybe you've got your, I don't know, um, your your sun in Capricorn at 13 degrees in the ninth house. Break it down into chunk size and understand a little bit at a time. But in your birth chart, you'll find your north node, your Chiron. You'll learn about your relationships, everything. It's all there. Your blueprint to how things must go. Mm -hmm. So what about them? The rebound, Chucky and his bride, right? Who you, you don't see them, you don't hear from them, and you sure as hell don't want to smell them, darling dear. What's going on with the rebound that's in spiritual court? What's going on with the rebound in spiritual court? Yeah, it's yesterday's newspaper, so it's been going on for some time, darling dears. They're trying to downplay the situation, right? 
But the situation is peppered with red flags and it fell on God. Yeah. And they talk about you because it fell on the virtuous man or woman. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Rehashing a thing or two about you. My stealthy cat. My prototype cat. My big cat, as your big cat chronicles, continues. Yeah, the red flag of it all, oh, darling. Dear. The whole relationship is a red flag. A crisis, right? A train wreck waiting to happen. What's this, right? They're awakening to the truth of their nasty nature, right? No one's listening to no one. So they're flapping their gums and fighting, right? And there's spell work afoot and candle magic. So somebody use that to bind someone to a situation. Silly rabbit. You can't take away someone's free will. Otherwise, you will bind the body. But the inside, the inside is pet cemetery. Through and through. Mm -hmm. Haunted and hunted. Whoever did that spell work, darling, dears. Because God is all up and in this reading. And spiritual part. Where they get the spiritual kick in the nuts. Like, listen. When you end up in spiritual court, darling, dears. You will continue to make the rinse and repeat of these negative cycles if you don't address these negative cycles, right? And see that you are the bad guy in most situations. What will happen is they will continue to make the mistakes of their life. They will miss you for air because you are the what? Righteous man or woman. Mm -hmm. God said. I didn't just say. God said. Right? Mm -hmm. So when they finish this. And then they, they pass away, darling dears. They may even find another avatar, another body to re be, be reborn back on this Malkuth to have another cycle. Well, guess what? They're going to be arrested at birth, darling dears. And the karma is going to be on them like white on rice. Yeah. Until they go within. Go within. Mm -hmm. Let's get Kipper up in this shiz naive. And then we're out of here. They are, look, as I was going to keep a look, they are broken hearted. Imagine, this cold hearted one is broken hearted, couldn't even get to the keeper. What else? What else? Tell us. Told you. They want them, they want them, they want some of your time, darling, dears, to wine and dine you. Listen, you know what? Not to eat our drink. Nil by mouth, right? And I told you, we meet them nowhere. We've seen the first 48. We are what CSI experts. We are keyboard gangsters, mate. Mm-hmm. They want listen, you better make sure that your mocker is strong, darling dear. Because you ain't getting smoked. I told you they want a date. They're gonna try and make it light. Let's go for a coffee date. Nah, no, blood. Next thing you know, they're having to look to see the registration of your car, seeing you walking off with this hooded figure and never seen again. Right? What did I say? Karmic relationship. A relationship that has sailed away in the name of what? The Most High, all up and in this reading. Father God, Mother Isis. They've create, They've also created more criminal records with this what? Bride of Chucky. The rebound that they're with. Who use spell work to keep them in that situation. They thought that all of their ministrations would go unheard, right? They thought it would go unheard in the what? In the spiritual court, when they're at the top of the docket. You can't downgrade and beat up on, right, and abuse, lie on, do all of the above, be a merchant of slander, slander, four, 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 on the counter. You are what? Protected by your ancestral team. Your security, darling dears. You are protected. So now you don't want to talk, right? Not today or any other day. There's a dean in it, blood. You're too busy kicking your way into into what the best the best days of your life. Just a second, let me quickly plug this in because the battery is about to run out. Oh, I was looking for Kipper. If I can't find Kipper, I believe we must leave the reading there. Oh, Kipper just jumped into my hand. Final messages before we get off to get great and continue to live your best life, big cat. Live out loud. Leave this pedestrian sperm engine. Listen, the community see that they're trees. Look, they're being talked. Look, people at their back is laughing at them, right? Mm -hmm. As you continue to boss up on mitches and bitches. Continue to focus on your grind, darling dears. Get to your bag, why? The bag will give you the choice of whatever life you want to live, darling dears. As you've already done the work. It's time for you to what? Reap the benefits of your hard work. Yeah.
this is an official person, you bossed up on them. Some of you may even be in the army or the um the police or even a civil servant, but it, whatever you're doing, darling dears, it's a different in industry to what you was in before. You had to learn the intricacies of this new thing that you're doing, darling dears, and you've done it like a boss. You're getting accolades from your ancestral team. Mm -hmm. Leave them with their judgment, blood. You don't want that karma. I told you where they're at. They're in spiritual court, getting the consequences, consequences of their actions. On that note, I drops me mic. Todd love to my Teesprings, my Patreon, or my TikToks where I also upload videos. If you'd like a personal read, hit me up in the Gmail. All of my intel is in the description box below. And as I always say, don't get smoked. And don't smoke yourself. From the ashes, baby. Namaste. Big cat wave. Until we meet again on these tarot streets. Cat, cat. Cat, cat.